Dan here, DD Speed Shop. You know what? I thought we'd take a break from wiring to do a little wiring. So we're going to go ahead. This car, we've driven it a little bit. I think it went around the block a couple times. But uh, it's a real hassle. I mean, there's no wiring in it. All it has is uh, the MSD box. I think the fuel pump or hot wired. And it's just, it's a nightmare. There's no place for battery, all those sort of things. So I want to tackle a lot of that today. So we have a really, really simple, this is like as simple as it gets, uh, wiring harness. I, a couple of videos ago, we put one in the Camaro and I kind of showed how I break it up and divvy it all up. So I did that right quick. So we skipped the first step, but we have under hood, under dash, um, front headlights, turn signals, fan, horn. Um, or maybe that's in this as well. And then this is rear tail lights and all that sort of stuff. So we're keeping it super, super simple. I didn't actually pull anything out of this car because um, I don't know what people are going to want in it down the road. Um, we have a bit of a schmozzle here of stuff. Obviously, we have to make the signals work, but the big high ticket items are these two right there. So that's where our ignition is going to be. And I had, oh, so I have a brand new ignition. This is all the tricks of the trade to wire any hot rod for as cheap as possible, as far as I'm concerned. It's a $15 universal headlight switch. So we want one of those in there. I bought a factory Tri-5 ignition switch, which was actually a lot of money. Looking back, whatever. You can buy cheap ones of those too. I don't have the little ring. I gotta find one. There might be one in that bucket right there, actually, of miscellaneous. So we got that. And then just some cheap tail light deals. And then the kit comes with headlight pigtails. Uh, this is for an old alternator, so we'll keep this. And uh, steering column. So we'll get to, oh, a little piece of wire there too. We'll get this routed. I'm gonna leave it just kind of hanging because all I wanna do today, I wanna make sure so it can run off the key um, if we can, I don't know if this thing has a brake light switch in it. If it does, be sweet. If we get that running, maybe some signals out of it, maybe some headlights. It's got headlights. And I yesterday. Yeah, I forget these things. So it's got new headlights in it, so those will work. And uh, there's no electric fan on it. I don't have a spare one hanging on the wall, eh? So we'll see what we can get accomplished there. It'd be nice for this thing to be able to um, run and drive. Uh, we got to hook up the charging systems. So there's a few things like that. But if it had headlights, taillights, turn signals, electric fan, and a charging system, we're set. Everything else is uh, not yet installed. So, um, I guess you want to start tossing this thing in. We'll do it all at once. One shot. What? One shot wiring. We'll do a quick eight hour video of me pulling my hair out. Whoop. Oh god, it's caught on the trim. Excuse me, excuse me. It's already caught. This is already a bad idea. Come on. Come on, camera woman. Okay, so I think this is everything we need for the back. Let me just double check. Right rear turn, fuel gauge. Little tail lights, left turn, third brake light. Yeah, that's all we need. Minimal, minimal stuff. We're minimalists here at DD Speed Shop. Well, this is where you get to see me crawl through and hate my life. Ah. Uh, hmm. You're gonna have to look at the camera yourself because there's gonna, damn it, there's gonna be butt crack. I'm not gonna lie. I'll just adjust. Ah smells in here for some reason. Okay. So let's run this around. Toss that into the trunk. Back the scene. <sighs> Little boxer. Well, I think they're clean today. They're only like two day olds. Is this, Is this bolted in? Damn it it is. I hate when I do that. Now we're screwing around. I'm going to take the steering wheel off. That'll make my life easier. Look at that. Put this back so I don't forget it. It stinks in here. 
I don't know why. Everything is new. So they only sat outside for a little bit. Okay. Uh, Do you leave any windows down? I don't think so. Oh, we need another flasher. So this one, hazards, turn signal. It's got a big fuse for that goes in hazards, which gets everything power. And the way it works, uh, one of these. So this is ignition, key on power, and the red wire here is always on power. And then you got just a few little things there. So the coil and, well, the MSD box will be run off the key and the starter, everything else, go through the fuse block. So we have to pop the hood, I'm like I'm buckled in here. Pop the hood, we'll see where we can put the wires through under there, so I move some pop the hood. We'll be back shortly. Okay, so I kind of taped everything up here. Um, I taped a few things together just to make my life a little easier, hopefully, hopefully, to get it through the firewall. Uh. Uh. Can you oh, reach there. around and grab this? But it has to go between the hood hinge, like through the, f yeah, it's, it's between the, like it's right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's good, just pull it through. Yeah, keep going. Um, you know what, I, I didn't like how I routed that. Hang on one second here, I routed around the e-brake, which, oh, the e-brakes are relevant on this. Now, uh, you know what, we'll just do it again. Hang on, hang on, Danielle. Ah. Are you looking at the camera with negative eyes? Oh, I'm trying, it's dark in here. Do you see it? Huh? See it? No. Well, it's through, there you go. Okay, pull that. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, that should be good. I didn't go under the force. What? That's fine. Do we got one more? Did you just drop that on the ground? Yeah. That fine china wiring? Yeah. How come like fine china pottery is nice, but fine china watery, or, uh, wiring is not? You see this one yet? Yeah, just pull it. Yeah, keep going. This one shouldn't be. Keep going. That's good. Okay. Wired. We're done. Bye, everybody. <laughs> we'll come back with it idling. Is this clip done? Yes, that clip is done. Crazy how much brighter it is. With the Look at the doors are up. Look at those gorgeous shit boxes out there. <laughs> oh, we're that guy. Anyway, I slightly re ran the wire. I ran this one through the center of the firewall because um, it would have to go around the hood hinge, which I wanted to avoid. And then all the headlight wiring, I just zip tied up, kind of tucked it to the, the fender, even though there's no, there's no real inner fender there. This one, I don't want to tape it all up and everything because I mean, again, I'm. this isn't our car in the end of the day and the next guy may want to take it apart or do whatever or know what the wires do. So I'm going to trim them, but, uh, and ultimately even in a Tri-5 Chevy, like a factory one, I think it just kind of snaps up behind this anyway, so you won't even see it. So we'll have to divvy these wires up for the headlights. Let that hang there for now. I did have to pull one wire back. Um, there's a coil wire which obviously the MSD box is probably gonna be inside the car on this deal. So we'll just kinda, this is gonna be for the starter. So that'll go on that side. The battery will probably do on this side. So that will also go over and around. Uh, where's the factory 57 battery? I think it's in right there, eh? Yeah. I guess we'll put it right there because that's what's easy. And then this is gonna be, alternator wire so that'll be actually on this side ls stuff it's like a ford backwards so these two here are uh, charge wire and your alternator exciter wire so this is what turns on the alternator exciter wire. that just sounds fun 
Yes. So we'll, well, we can hook these up, but they'll be on this side and they don't have to be very long at all. Actually, we could probably just snip these down and we're done. I will say though, with LS stuff, you do have to run a resistor to your, uh, to the 12 volts on. It doesn't want 12 volts turning it on. It wants, I don't know, seven or something. So they sell, I think they sell plugs. You can do, I actually don't have the plug for it. I gotta find one. I might've bought one, but we'll see. Um, but you gotta either run it through like a light bulb or a little resistor, which I think I might have, because I've done this a few times, but we'll just run that. So we know that's good. We don't need that for this second, but that's that. These are the important ones. And look at that, it even has little, little tabs we can fit it in. Hang on. You know what tool you need? The closest one to you. So we can run this across. Working with the door up. You know, some people have been doing this for months. Some people do it all year, all year. round. <laughs> what a concept. Gosh, does it feel nice. Ugh. It's like I'm motivated to be outside again. Okay. These carburetors, well, they are cool. They Clear definitely expense. get in the way of certain items. Well, I don't want to drop whatever that was into the carburetor, so that's good. Fell off the side. Oh, ouch. Ouchie. Well, whatever. We got the appearance. So this we gotta, I guess we'll do something like that. We'll put the battery right there. We'll need some sort of a tie down. Ratchet strap. Ratchet strap. <laughs> Maybe I'll just weld it in there. Actually, we gotta steal a battery out of something. Why don't we just go buy a battery? No, why would you buy a battery when you just have one battery? See, that's perfect. And then this, well, that, actually this, oh. What am I gonna do there? This is this is the fuel pump, so we gotta turn that on somehow. But whatever, we'll find a wire for it. So we have that. We'll uh, we'll get set up under the dash. We'll start terminating everything to fit this. So I gotta get it. Well, actually, this one has a pretty simple if I'll pick up. But battery. So this will be constant power. Ignition. So this will be switched. Sol. That'll be um trigger the starter and the accessory over here will be if the key is turned back so try if i have that all the way back or not i don't remember i think it just says lock i'll have to google it man there's too many cars but at least that we can just put some spade connectors on there it'll be good we'll uh we'll get into what we got and we should be able to test this thing if it'll crank and the headlights shortly okay so I've jumped ahead just a little bit, did some kind of boring wiring. I ran, uh, everything's kind of on the loose side. We stole a battery out of the Camaro. Um, we got that dialed, so that's going to be power to the box. And this is to the starter. And hopefully we connect this together and there's no, no sparks. Okay. So in theory, oh, I need my test light. Hang on. Be right back. I'm right back. So we got test light. This is just more of a arts and crafts digital display here. I don't have a body ground on it, but it should be fine for right now because it's got uh, solid motor mounts. So this thing does stink. It stinks in here, eh? I don't know why. So this one should have power, which it does, and nothing else will have power. Put the ignition. That back seat or something. I wonder something. if it's not in here. Well, these things did sit outside for a while. Yeah. Oh well, we'll let it air out. Are these all the same? So we'll put this together. Uh, okay. What? Sorry. What did I bone it? There we go. Okay, so this thing has all the way left is lock, nothing, on, and then crank. The nice thing about a Tri-5 is it'll do all that. But then have a lock thing and then it won't move at all. So now, what we want to do 
This one had 12 volts, so we'll just do a little test in. So hook that up to battery power, which what that does, that bridges. So now we can run off the ignition switch, a, a constant 12. Now nothing else has power. Kick it. This is stiff. Okay, so that's on. And what has power? That has power. That has power, that has power, that has nothing. And then now we crank it. This one should have power, yep. Now does this one lose? That one maintains, this one loses. So now we know this is what we'll do for like radio and whatnot. This is the one we want for anything that needs power on crank. Now, we just do as a quick test, this one here should crank so that's good now we don't have any fuel pump or ignition or any of that but that's where this one comes in so this one is to the coil so this one is currently going nowhere but this will go to the MSD box so that'll be on the constant power for crank and everything so we can hook that one up there and then I guess I don't need to take that one out it could still maintain there so like you have to do one at a time. And now these two, they say on them, this one is ignition switched AC. This one is, the writing is kind of off it. Ignition switch ignition. So I believe this one we want to have power on crank and stuff. And this one will have power without crank, which is kind of relevant in this style of switch. There you go, that is wired up. And now everything is gonna have power. In theory, we should have power. No, nothing there. But yeah, what else will have power? Brake light switch, maybe? We can just test that. Which is where? Dimmer might have power. Hi. Neighbors, that doesn't have power. I'll do a little research here, a little checking around. But one of these should have constant power. You know what the problem is when you order whatever's on sale? You never really know what the heck you're getting here. Oh, two headlight power. That must have power. Nothing. Does it need to have the key on? Oh, nope, it's already on. All right, well, it's a blender. Oh, it's missing all the fuses and flashers. <laughs> I got it. I'll go get those and we'll come right back and then we'll have power. Okay, we're almost done with all the scary wiring. So I ran some wires to this uh, turn signal switch, or uh, headlight switch, sorry. Very simple, power in, and then we have uh, power out, which is to the dimmer, and then these two are, I, I bridged them together, it'd be front, park, and rear, and, and tail lights. So that's all good. Um, as we can see, power in, nothing, nothing. One clip back, we have power clicks back power we have headlights they go off when the park lights go on so that's cherry and that is going to feed this which oh, actually it needs a switch but i just think i have one i should have put this in the camaro i don't know why this car is getting all the good parts usually i keep a couple of these in stock For the three kids watching it, this is the high low beam selector on the ground. So what's gonna happen here, we, uh, power's gonna go in the top. So currently there's nothing. It has some, perfect. And then, found it. What happens is, so power comes in the top and as you clickety-clack, it, it uh, goes side to side. Now all the power's coming out of the hood. There we go, so power in. Now this is gonna be your low beam, green's gonna be your high beam. It's got two wires coming out because one is gonna go to your dash light to tell you your high beams are on. Even though no one pays attention anymore to high beams. As it turns out. Everybody uses their high beams at all times. Just saying. So now, okay, so the low beam is on. Kick it off, the low beam goes off. 
So we have that. Now what we can do, we can go into the hood and just double check and make sure we have power here. And as long as we do, then we can start working under here. Which one's which? Low beam, pink. So we have power, look at that. So, oh, this thing already has wiring. Oh, wow, look at that. What we can probably do here even, well, we can probably test it right now. I assume black would be ground. If we can, uh, anything go on there? Um, where, where am I supposed to look at? The headlight? No. That's what's going on? Maybe that's not how it is. I must have plugged them in. Maybe I didn't plug them in. We'll play with that and see what wires what. But really all we gotta do is, one of these will be your ground, one will be high beam, one will be low beam. Tag into that and there you go. It's working. And the uh, signal lights are smashed out and missing. But other than that, things are going well. We'll get that dialed, then we'll do tail lights and then the only thing that is ugly and kind of confusing and a bit of a hassle is the turn signal. I will say it's a bit of a schmoz. We're golden. Oh, and there's two wires I ran for fuel pump and coil to the MSD. Man, it's it's boring. We're getting there. So I've solved the problem. Operator error as per usual. Um, so these were brand new headlight buckets, which I don't know if they came with brand new headlights or not, but either way, and it had the wiring with them <laughs> and uh, someone didn't really hook them up. So we'll just disconnect this one. And here while we're at it, we'll show everyone. Oh no, I need that piece. Don't let me forget that. Don't forget it. I'll keep it on the floor. The safe So these uh, sealed beams. What is that technique? It's the start and fire getting the light out. You know, whatever, man. A lot of people these days, I thought we'd film this because a lot of people never don't know how to change these friggin' lights or whatever, what you gotta do and how you take them all apart. Everyone's used to the push and turn on the backside. So you take just, there's three little screws holding this in. You only take out two. Look at that brand new light still has the, that on it. Now we'll pull out the wiring just a little bit three-prong deal so the way these work I believe the top one is low beam so in that case it'll be yellow red will be high and then black will be ground and then there's little spots this is the adjuster so there's two screws there and a spring on this side that's how you adjust it and there's little lumps on the light so it only kind of fits in there this is buggered bend her around it's fine see the only kind of fits in there one way snap that back on oh i put my screw do that and we're home okay so that's that now i'll put the other screw in don't worry i won't forget don't forget the piece oh, yeah. on the ground either so now we have this so yellow should be Low beam. Ah. Got bad ground there, but that's that. And then red should be high beam. Oh, there we go. Look at that. There's a ground piece right there. I wasn't even using it. I don't know if it puts power to both. No, it must not. So that's that. So we can get that all dialed together and we'll have full luminance Wicked. in the front. So. We'll, uh, yeah, literally, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna splice into this. I mean, we'll have to ground this to the fender and then high beam, low beam, and the park lights. The front's very simple, but that's it. So we gotta get this done because Danny's making lunch and uh, well, that's a priority of the day. Yeah, I'll try not to. This is kind of on there a little funny too. But don't worry, you can rest assured that I will probably get it right, and if not, we'll redo it.
See you when lights are working or after lunch or what? We'll figure it out. So, heard the back of the car. I don't I don't think it filled any of this, did I? Murr came over. Man, friggin' Murr. Talking off the podcast for some reason. Anyway, so I ran the wires, uh, you know, turn park brake, uh, turn and brake are the same, park is on its own. I ran a little purple ground wire because I had purple kicking around. Um, I have, well, I don't know if we'll film this. Well, we probably should, I guess. We film everything now, but this is the factory. Why did you say it like that? Well, because we do. So this is the factory brake light deal, which actually has a rotten bulb broken in it, and I'm sure nothing will work. So we'll cut this off, we'll drill it out, and we'll put in uh, we'll just, those spring-loaded clips fit. So now I'll just turn on the park lights right quick so you can see that they work. So we got both sides working. They're be white. So those are just hanging, obviously, you know, not grounded with the the socket. That's why I love these ones. I've, I, I tell they're the best because they're they're self grounded, so they can just be floating and they work, which is fantastic. Now for the next trick, I'll show you this. So this is a little um, testy. So all I did was I went online, I googled. Um, universal GM wiring harness and as you can see this little kind of that's what we have right there obviously and it just tells you what the color code is and what they do so I hooked just a few up whoops and if you go from whoops uh, right to left it's uh, brake light because we don't have gray so I can't see brake light right turn left turn and then signal power so on the fuse block, there's two sections for flashers. So I just have the one because I don't know where the other one is. This would be hazard. So power coming in is blue. And then we have left turn, right turn, brake light. We currently don't have brake light set up, so bear with me. But uh, That's very purple. What did I say? Purple. Blue. Oh, purple. Yeah, purple. Blue's here. I was looking here. Purple. So the way this is going to work, power in. And then these ones here, so that's your rear turn left, right, brake, and this will be your front turn, horn, and hazard. But now what should happen is if we click it, you can hear it, and we should have left turn signal. I haven't tested this yet, hopefully it's not embarrassing. Yeah. And then we have right turn signal. Yeah. Perfect. So now what we can do, <clears throat> so those, again, they go in this little, uh, plastic connector which I'll have to assemble but it's all, I always like to test it because you gotta press those things in once they're in there it's a bit of a pain but this will just sandwich together so now we can also test we have a test light oh I guess we can actually do it right here no we can't because I don't have it hooked up sorry sorry getting ahead of myself but we can test at the switch then we have front, front turn as well. So based on this diagram, we have right turn. So right turn will be blue. So we'll go to blue. We have turn, go left. Left is light blue, which actually is different in this one for some reason. I think it's one of these ones. Yeah, gray in this. From China, light blue is gray. But there you go. So I will hook this up. I figure what way it goes on, but I'm sure it'll clip on just like that. And uh, the wiring is done. I'll get that dialed together, make sure it all clips together. Then we'll have signals, ignition, lights. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. Then we'll go and uh, drill out the uh, those suck the housings. And we'll go ahead and put little uh, brake lights in there. I don't have enough um, sockets to get the front signals working, but they're there. Yeah, cool. Scene. What's going on here? Are you going to start talking? Sorry, sorry. Okay, so we got <laughs> everything's back in, lenses are on. That's all good. It's an absolute disaster in here. Are you coming? Huh? But uh, we got it all going. I had to, this is the brake switch. 
which was completely seized and broken. So I put another one in. So I think we should have brake lights. You want to double check? So off, on, yeah. And then I also hooked up the electric fuel pump. So if we kick the key on, that kicks on. We still have signals. So that's good. Um, I mounted the gauges. I mounted the MSD box. So everything is just an absolute disaster. Oh, do I show? I don't think I show this. So I pin this, put that together. So now we can lock this all in. So that's done. So that's all the wiring that we tested in the last clip. For all the signals working, the only thing we don't have working right now are the front turn signals in the grill bar because we don't have any more uh, sockets. Um, what else? Oh, I found a ring for the, for the ignition. I got to pull it all apart to put that together, but we have put the ignition away and I got to take the old lights. There actually is a light switch in here, but I think it's probably pretty seized. Fiddle. Yeah. <laughs> so that's got to come out, which is a bit of a pain because <laughs> this centerpiece really needs to come out for us to kind of, there's going to be a locking pin on the back, but it doesn't look like it's moving at all. Anyways, um, so now we see if it starts. So we'll let the fuel pump. Just like that. So now it starts. We still up the turn signal. Uh, left turn. Left. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Brakes. Yeah. Well, there you go. Pretty dandy. <laughs> yeah. So I know it's a disaster. Hard tops. It's a disaster. But now these are the only wires remaining. This will be fan trigger. These are gonna be a oh, radio. What's this? Wipers. Power antenna, I don't think we're using that. Uh, gauge power, we need that one. And this will probably be left right turn on the gauges, which I don't think we're gonna hook up. And high beam indicator, so there you go. All that's left now is gonna be in the gauges. So left right turn, high beam indicator, illuminance and it'll have radio and then there's no heater in this thing but it does have heater power so if we want to put one of those electric heaters in we can but i think that's kind of where i'm going to leave it i'm going to go ahead and clean everything up here get it all tucked away make it look nice put the ignition stuff in put the headlight switch in and then uh call it but that's a lot of progress today just a quick rewire all right hood pins that's how you know it's done ish so put the bezels on i guess we should make sure the high beams and all that still work yeah, i don't think we can test them with the switch yes so they bounce back and forth yeah. mint and then we still have lights back here everything right now it's oh yeah that yeah, looks good so we got that on there Oh, turn, still turning? Yeah. The other side? Yeah. Perfect. We'll hop in this thing. Ugh. It's hot rod. She said she wasn't actually gonna sit in it. Cause she's, it smells like pee. So I'm not bad. So, are the wheels straight-ish? I hate for the internet to tell me the steering wheel is crooked. Story of my life. So, cleaned it all up. We got the MSD box under there. Look at that. Got the wire kind of behind the behind the deal there. I just tucked all the wiring up in the corner. Nothing's too crazy. We have we got a headlight switch in the dash, ignition switch in the dash. The only thing it's kicking down is that. Look at that. 
has oil pressure. Still moves. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. That's gonna be tightened up a little, but overall, I ah, don't wanna forget my brand new light in here. There you go, look at that. You know, it's one of those things, I put this car away because I was kind of done with it. And I had this feeling, oh, I need so much, so much. And I mean, last couple of days we put some pieces on, we wired it, we cleaned it up a little bit. <laughs> I mean, really, it's kind of small list now of little things to be done, but I think the next thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna clean it up. I'm actually gonna change the carburetors and intake on it. Cause like I said, I do wanna sell this thing, but I am keeping that stuff. Cause that was a big dollar item. And I don't, well, unless somebody wants to pay for it, but I can't imagine anybody's gonna be broken in the head like I am and spend $1,500 on carburetors and intake manifold. Um, so we have, uh, I got another intake right here with a carburetor on it. I think that might've been on this thing originally. At one point I had it running with that or something. So we can get that done. I think all the wiring is done. I'll have to go under it, just kind of nut and bolt check everything, clean it all out. And I think we're gonna dump this thing in storage. Anything else I had to do to it? We talked about it today. I think that's it, that's all. Oh, I got a little bit of trim to put on the back here. Whatever's in that bucket of trim, I wanna, this one here. So I got some, some trim for the dash, you know, miscellaneous stuff, whatever I've kind of collected. We'll put some of that on there, make it look as nice as we can, but I mean, it runs by the key. It has a valid title. It runs and drives. Oh, I'm gonna change front wheels too, because I don't think I was paying for those. So I got a set of nice rallies. So they'll match front and back, and we're done with it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe below, leave a comment, and uh, email Danielle. She loves that stuff. We'll see you on the next one.